everybody, it's John, a.k.a. Smelly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana, and more music and moreguitars.com. And today we're talking about this beautiful guitar. This is a Paul Reed Smith McCarty 594. This is from their wood library. And I'm just going to be up front. I just learned this. So I had no idea what 594 stood for. I'm not... <laughs> I've, ha I've owned some Paul Reed Smiths in the past, but never this model. So apparently it has to do with that the original McCarty's, um, when he first came out with them, they had the 25 inch scale length. And then the 594 is a little bit closer to spec than th to like what Ted McCarty would have designed. So Larry said it's 24.594 scale length. So it feels a little bit like a guitar from another company and you know who I'm talking about. It's Gibson. Anyways, okay, so let's talk about a little bit about this guitar. So first of all, um, it's this is an upper end guitar. So the fit and finish is top notch. Uh, I would never say that one company is head and shoulders above others. I, I genuinely like so many different builders, whether they're large like Paul Reed Smith or Fender or Gibson or small like our local Harper guitars. You know, they all have something going for them. I will say this, the fit and finish on these Paul Reed Smiths, I'll say, is second to none. So we'll just leave it at that. It is, these are fantastic guitars. So let's go through the specs just in case you are kind of new to the 594s. So um, it is a mahogany body with a maple top on it, and this is a 10 top. Um, we'll have some pictures. The wood on the, the front, the, you know, the top and the back, it's gorgeous, especially the way it catches the light. You know, uh, they did a very good job on picking some very nice looking uh, maple and mahogany. I guess you could kind of say this feels like a very upscale vintage style instrument, even though it is not at all. Um, but it has, you know, very nice vintage style tuners. Uh, you have the uh, bound fretboard. And I'm guessing it's probably a 12 inch radius. We didn't actually look that up, but it, it feels like it's 12 inch. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And the um, fretboard though. So this is one of the big things. It's a Brazilian rosewood, which of course is kind of rare. It's becoming even more rare. And there's, you know, you have to go through all these things, different things to be able to get it. So that's definitely a big upsell for the guitar. Uh, I like, where the pickup selector is, it's in a very familiar space or place for me, you know. Again, if you're thinking about something, if it's like, kind of seems like, anyways, I think you know what they're going for here. And the electronics are the same, you know, you've got uh, the bridge pickup, you've got your volume and tone down here, and then your neck pickup, there's your volume, there's your tone, which is a little bit different than how most Paul Reed Smith guitars are laid out. The pickups are the 5815 low turns, so they're definitely going for uh, kind of a lower PAF type of wine. So again, this guitar does kind of feel like a very upscale uh, vintage style instrument. So the hardware you'll notice has got some gold and some silver. They called that the hybrid style. And I think that's pretty much it for the specs. You know, it's got the beautiful inlays and everything. This is a guitar that, yes, you could just stand there and stare at it. But it plays wonderfully and it sounds wonderful too, so you're not going to want to just stare at it. You're going to want to play it. Um, I do also want to kind of bring this up too. One of the reasons we're doing this video is because we've had these 594s and McCarty's on order for a while and they're just now starting to roll in. And there's not a lot of shops that have them in stock right now. So if you've been looking for something specific like that from Paul Reed Smith, just call down here or get in touch with us through the website and we can let you know what we've got in stock. So you heard some of the cleans and some of the dirties. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of noodling. I'll try not to chase anybody away with it. So I've got it set on clean now and the bridge pickup. I'd say that the, the 5815s are one of my more favorite pickups that they do. I do like lower output humbuckers. position. And the neck pickup. Do you want to 
here's some tone, tone control. It works. <laughs> this one works too. Okay, let's do some dirty tones real quick. Jump to the neck. And some middle. Roll back the neck pickup. Back the bridge. I like the bridge pickup a lot on this action. I wonder if I could put that in my Gibson. Ooh, I said it, I don't care. <laughs> Pretty cool, so this is an awesome guitar. It is fun for me to be able to demo it. I haven't got to demo one of these, like, I can't remember the last time I got to play one of these fancy Paul Reed Smith, so this has been a pretty good day for me so far, even though it's very windy. <laughs> so, like I said, we've got these on order. They're starting to roll in, so be looking on our website. But if you're very impatient like I am, you might want to call down here or get in touch with us through the website at moreguitars.com just to see what's coming in because it could be like any day. You don't want to wait for a video to come out. You, if you're looking for one, you probably want to get in touch with this and maybe get on a list or something. I don't know. So anyways, my name is John. This is the Paul Reed Smith McCarty 594 with the Brazilian Rosewood, very fancy. 5815 low wine pickups or what they call low turn pickups. I appreciate you hanging out with me and listening to my silliness and um, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>